Town meeting day is on Tuesday, and in Burlington, the new North End will elect a new city councilor after David Hartnett announced he would step down. Yeah, Local 22's Devin Bates was out speaking with the candidates tonight, and he joins us now to pass along a new development in the race. So Devin, what's that? Well, Mike, it was a three-candidate race until earlier today when Erica Bundy Reddick endorsed her opponent, Franklin Paulino. She said she feared her candidacy would split the vote and hand the election to Keenan Christensen, who is running as an independent with a progressive endorsement. Now the new North End will decide who will head to the city council. And then there were two. Keenan Christensen and Franklin Paulino are running on town meeting day to represent the new North End on the Burlington City Council. I'm an attorney here in town. I specialize in family and civil litigation. I'm a former law clerk to Justice Beth Robinson. And, you know, what brought me to Vermont was, you know, I remember sort of indelicably when I was, you know, a closeted gay kid living in Connecticut the, the day that um, Vermont passed civil unions. And um, it was like a beacon of light shining from the north. And I was like, I got to live there. I got to live with these great people who are pioneers years on civil rights and you know respecting people's dignity. I'm the only candidate with nine years of dedicated public service. I've been a public defender and a state's attorney for, during those nine years. You know I'm dedicated to my community. I have two kids in the school system and one in daycare. Uh, I am committed to this community. I, my wife's born and raised here and I love it here and I'm looking to continue pushing Burlington in the right direction. Erica Bundy Reddick says she's withdrawing from the race and endorsing Paulino. After speaking with city leaders, she said she decided her candidacy could have split the vote and handed the election to Christensen, who's running as an independent with a progressive endorsement. I think that if the progressive party gets any more weight in the city council, it'll be very bad for Burlington. I'm sure Keenan is a very nice young man, but it, I don't agree with his politics. And what are those politics? I asked both candidates what their top priority on the council would be. We need to expand our view of what public safety means. And for me, that means having a good job, having a steady housing, a uh, uh, stable home, a safe home, and as well as uh, receiving the proper services such as mental health and substance abuse uh, services. Housing affordability impacts everybody. You know, property taxes are going up, which necessarily means that rents are going up. We have insufficient housing to accommodate the community that's living here. We got to do better to make sure folks can stay in their homes and that rents are coming down. Now, in response to today's endorsement, Christensen told me he's, quote, surprised to hear that Erica is withdrawing, but it's her decision to make it, and I'm sorry to hear that she's dropping out. That said, in knocking on over 1,400 doors during this campaign, I've been working hard to bring together independents, Democrats, and progressives to build a truly people-centered city council. Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.